Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file once again. We are jumping in and what are we doing this time around? We can go for a... Uh, t do you know what we should do? I tell you what we should do. For some reason I still have Elijah uh, installed when... I, I might get a thumbnail for Elijah at some point but not yet. Anyhow, um, I'm going to do Eden and we're going to go and try and do the beast so we can unlock another Tarnished character. Because then we unlock Tainted Eden, who I hate. But apparently Tarnished Eden's really cool. Um, people have told me that he's a really fun character that I should definitely get on with and try and unlock. So I'm going to do exactly that. And also, I just thoroughly enjoy an Eden run every now and again. I mean, variety is the spice of life. And Eden has inherent variety. Eden's just one of those characters that I feel like every roguelike must have. Even, like, Enter the Gungeon has Paradox, but Paradox is kind of poo-poo stinky, because he can't start with active items, and he also, do you know what? This is not bad. We've, we've also got a middle finger in our pocket. What is this? Um, high chance for chests to replace with dire chests. I mean, we got given it. Also, maybe with our invincibility, dire chests might not be so bad, because I think, like, the main downside is that they can hurt you. Also, mime thing there, um, I'm gonna just, one minute, one minute, before we, before we carry on, one sec. Okay, sorry about that. I had a bunch of texture mods on that I, for last episode, that I forgot to uninstall. I fixed that now, it should be good. Uh, but yeah, what I was thinking was, the mime item's interesting, but not amazing so maybe what we should do instead is check what the shop has to offer and potentially just take the 15 cent to get a shop item uh now my question of the day today is one that again i might have asked before but it, this is one that can change a lot what's what's your recent gaming addiction what's a game that you are just not able to put down for whatever reason because for me i am hella hella late to the party but so the other day Okay, I'm actually, I'm going to give some backstory before I even, before I even say what it is. I'm going to give some backstory. Because I'm sure everyone loves it when people tease you with a point and then, for some reason, don't actually say their point for ten minutes. But I'm going to do that anyways. So, listen up, fellas. Um, anyways. So, I started my Darkest Dungeon series, like, a few weeks ago. Thoroughly enjoying it. Still highly recommend it. But the game isn't for everyone, so do as you will. Either way, been really enjoying it, and the last time that I started that series, it was inspired by a dude named Christopher Odd, who did a similar series. Uh, and so, I was like, it's been a really, really long time since I've watched that series. It was really enjoyable, um, and it's been like two years. I could probably watch it again and not remember much of it, and indeed that is the case. So I've been re-watching it, um, and to be honest, like, it's basically the only thing I've ever watched that he'd created. So I was kind of like, I should really take a look at this guy's channel and actually maybe watch some of his other stuff. I knew that he did long-form, like, gameplay um, of, like, playthroughs of games. So I was like, eh, hey, it's not really my style, not really my sort of thing for the most part. But I'll check it out. Um, it turns out he's playing Vampire Survivors at the minute. Like, he only started the series, like, two or three weeks ago, which I was like, that's a bit odd. Like, Vampire Survivors is apparently a good game, but it kind of died off a little bit. But anyways, I was like, eh, I've never actually really properly given it a good watch. I've only... I've never played it, and I've never really given it a proper look. I've only ever sort of watched it in passing or... Um... Bad options isn't terrible. Oh, I need to do, replace the fire sprays as well. There's a few things I need to do. Um, bad options or the mine thing. I think I'm going to go with bad options because quality zero items, there's a few in there that are pretty good. So let's take the blue, crack this open, and I'm sorry, mime item, you're staying right there. Um, anyways, yes, yeah, so I watched it and I was like, do you know what? I don't know why I never tried this. This this is, this is the, like, my sort of game. People told me to play it. I just never did for some reason. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a go. It's like £4, £5, whatever. It's very cheap. And god damn, I'm a fool for not playing that game on my channel in its prime. Like, I don't know if I'm going to bring it to the channel at this point. I might, but it's kind of, like, died off on YouTube. So I, I don't know. I'm just enjoying it, playing it in my own time at the minute. But god damn, I'm playing that game a lot, and I am really thoroughly thoroughly enjoying it it's just it is it's is just the epitome of like roguelike just one more run mentality like i'm always constantly like oh the runs are only half an hour if you win i could just fit another one in and oh, i've just been playing it so much and i'm really enjoying it and 
from the unlocks page, it looks like I still have quite a lot to do. Uh, apparently, there's quite quite a high number of characters as well, and I don't have that many unlocked yet, so I'm, I'm imagining that there's quite a few characters. That's pretty bad. I'm imagining there's quite a few characters that I'm yet to see. Uh, might as well just blow you up. Hey, a black heart. That replaces the uh, soul heart I just lost, so I'm very happy about that. Um, but yeah, so that like that's just one of those games that like I feel like kind of a boob for not checking out earlier. Um, it was mentioned to me by many people. I knew it was a hot game at the time. And, I, and people were saying, hey, Turtle, this is really your style of game. You'd really enjoy this. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I played Brotato, and Brotato was a game that was basically spawned off of Vampire Survivors. And I was like, hey, I love this. And I just never tried Vampire Survivors. I don't know why. And yeah, now that I've tried it, I'm like, hey. Hey, idiot. Hey, fool. Why did you not try it? You... You stupid baby head, you fool. So yeah, I'm just like, I literally just played a run before recording this video. And I've been playing like three or four runs of it a day. And yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. And I'm like, I kind of want to bring it to the channel. I think it could be fun, um, but it's a little bit past its prime. I don't know. If you guys want to see it, I'm definitely open to, uh, I'm definitely open to it. Remember, we are going to go to the, um, the beast today. So let's try and actually remember to do that this time. But yeah, if you guys are open to that, then I might bring it to the channel. It, it, it's a it's a fun game, and I don't know if I'd like start a new save file or whatnot. I'm not not quite sure what would be best. Oh bloody! I fucking hate this poopy enemy. This is a really rough room, actually. A really rough room indeed. There you go. We got it. We got it. Yeah, if people would like really want to see it. I'm definitely open to it. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'd start a new save file or continue on the one that I'm on. Um, I probably would be better off starting a new one, to be honest. <laughs> it is kind of funny that, like, I've I've got, like, very... Because I've made my own, like, sprite pack out of other people's sprite mods. I've kind of taken what I like from each different ones and, and sort of made one singular pack. I've got a very sort of varied art style in my game. Like, it's all consistent with Isaac, but there's still, like... You can see how there's certain touches to certain things that are like in the way that they in the way that they're graphically designed. Um, it's kind of interesting. But yeah, let's kind of talk about this run just for a hot minute. Um, because yeah, I'm kind of intrigued by the idea of the trinket that we got given. Because dire chests are basically eternal um, eternal folio chests where they can pop out the, um, the like purple coins, they can pop out a few other things, but they also, like, can explode and deal damage to you. So I'm, I'm kind of intrigued to try them out, just because I feel like maybe with the Book of Shadows, what we can potentially do is um, use the Book of Shadows before we start playing a chest, and then we can get everything that we can possibly get out of it, and when it eventually does explode, we can avoid the damage. That's kind of my thinking right now, and I think that that could be a pretty good solution. I think that could be kind of fun. I like the resprites for the flies, but the wings are a little strange. And I'm not sure if that's just because I'm not used to them or because they actually are strange. People, let me let me know in the comments. Are the wings strange? Is that parasitoid tears? Oh, baby, it is. And oh my god, guys. Can you believe it? We have a 0 0.06 luck stat. Holy hell. So much extra luck to be firing parasitoid tears. Parasitoid is really genuinely one of my favorite tier modifiers it's so fun um spindle would be awesome um bad options might be broken because it seems to be changing between spindle and spindle trying to catch it on the on the the, the one in between but it seems to be changing between spindle and spindle which isn't great Ooh. These these fat boys got a little more a little more junk in the trunk now. What's going on here? These guys, I've re really, I really love the spider resprite. I like the way they've got like little boots on now. All the spiders got little wee little booties. I, I enjoy that. I thoroughly enjoy that. So unfortunately that one wasn't a dire chest. We got the louse there, which I don't particularly care for. Just pop this and Wail on this guy. I'm just gonna stay really close to him to try and uh Do you know what I really actually do like the fly resprites? The wings are a bit odd, but they look a bit meatier. I kinda like that. Especially with like when it works with our blue flies and stuff. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, look at the spiders go. Look at them go. You've made a grave error in sending out your flies there, dude. Don't know why I took that risk. Squeezy's very lovely here. Thank you, thank you. No devil deal for me today, thanks. I'm a little bit light on health. I just picked up three soul hearts. I don't want to give them away immediately. Um, let's stars card out of this room. There's a dire chest. Okay, so I might just want to play out this room so I can play the dire chest. I could have just waited, like, gone outside and got a charge and then come back in, but... Hey, her. Farming this guy for parasitoid shots. Ooh, the mushrooms. They're a really interesting respite. They're very different than normal. I like it. Get on the spikes. Come on, my spidery friends. So let's let's pop this now and then just start playing this chest while while the room's going on. Doesn't seem to have been super successful of an idea, I'll be honest. Because the, the chest opening time is uh it gives us four plays. Isn't very good. Yeah, there you go. I don't know, that wasn't super successful. Wouldn't exactly call that a roaring success. I will go in here. I can't play you, unfortunately, Mr. Mr. Oh. Yes. So yeah, it seems like the, the bad options is just broken right now, which is an, which is a shame. But I do very much like anti-grav, you guys know it. People that don't like anti-grav are people that don't like fun. You heard it here first. If you don't like anti-grav, you're a simp for simplicity. Get a bit of wackiness going on in your game. Live a little. Get hit twice by one burning, like me. One that you've already killed. Now that, that shows, shows true guts and skill. Oh hell. Oh hell, oh hell, oh hell. Oh, I do love to have a little Eden run. I think uh, one thing that make that you can do to make Eden more fun, in my opinion, obviously this isn't a hard rule. Um, I don't always stick to this, and I don't recommend that everyone always does. But, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm getting hit so much to some stupid stuff. Um, One thing that I always like to do as Eden is, like, whatever you start with in terms of, like, active item or trinket, you have to stick with. Like, that is your gear now for the run. Now that can be a little annoying because it does mean that you might get a lot of active items that you can't you can't use. But I think it makes Eden kind of a little bit more of a challenge and a little bit more interesting because sometimes you'll get some bad actives or, ba or bad things or trinkets that you that you've never really sort of given a proper chance. You just know that they're bad. Also, did I get the fern? How many other YouTubers have managed to get the fern? I got the fern. Ben. I got the fern, people. I actually got the fern. That is like one of the rarest things in Fiend Folio. <laughs> it's literally just an, a, a gag. It's just a fern that you pick up and then the talking dog thing says a few words to you. He laughed at me. Can we blow it up? That we can. That, that is something else. That is rare. That is really rare. That is like, like I said, one of the rarest. There's, there's like, I think there's exactly two rooms that can show up in. One of them is that shop and another one's an error room. And it literally can't show up anywhere else. I think I'm right on that. It might, there might be like one other room, but yeah, there's, there's very few rooms that can show up in. Um, and like obviously with Fumfolio, I have like twenty thousand rooms, and and they're really low weight as well. So not only is it a rare room because there's just so many of them and so few have that thing in it, 
but also it's a rare room because the weight of it is actually really low, so it has a really low chance of showing up. But that's, 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 that, even though the thing is useless, that's still really cool to have found. That's really cool to have found. Like, genuinely, if, I know that a few of you out there probably watch other people play Fiendfolio, and I know Fiendfolio has been out quite a while now. I'd be interested to hear if anyone's seen any other YouTuber find that phone legit, because I don't know of anyone that has. But then again, I'm not watching a lot of other YouTubers play Fiendfolio, because I'm playing it myself. Um, so, uh, it, it might be that loads of people have found it and I'm the last one, but... There's also a chance that I am the first. I'd really like to know my health right now because I have a feeling that it's astonishingly low. I have a feeling it is very, very bad. I like with anti-grav and invincibility that I can basically just use this as a melee weapon. We really don't have a lot of damage right now. And I, I was hit straight away. I have to admit, I'm not particularly psyched about the prospects of this run carrying on from this point. Because, yeah, I've uh, I've been hit quite a lot. I didn't like the fact that we got double trouble on a random boss fight. That's a little bit annoying. I'm trying to keep whipping, are we? Very like, very much like some bombs to go with all this. Just gonna keep whipping, are you? We did get the angel deal, and we got a damage upgrade. That's rather nice. I think we're gonna take the butterfly here. Um, small chance to activate on damage effects when picking up coins. Ooh, fish tail. I, I, I am. I know I was saying about sticking with the stuff you start with, and the middle finger or middle hand is pretty interesting. But the fishtail with parasitoid tears is kind of insane. Kind of insane. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be taking that from now on. Yeah, we are on one heart. The world would be very nice here. Ooh, hello. Secret room right off the bat here. Um maybe we can get this with a tower card. Bugger. There you go. Took a bit of doing, but I got there in the end. Unfortunately, my efforts were in vain because I didn't get anything for that. I need to use my invincibility a little more. But yeah, the, the butterfly should be pretty good because we have a smaller hitbox now, which is good. And also, we can fire these crazy-ass herming tears every now and again, which is definitely a bonus. Can Literally cannot legally be sad about that. Do not like your stinger floating around. You see, you see the herming on that thing? The fact that it's just like going absolutely wild following that thing. Ooh, hello. We can go in here. Yeah, we'll take Cracker Jacks. Thank you. This boss isn't too bad, so I'm not going to use my active yet because the second boss might be worse. It's deceiving with snake oil with how big my tears are, how much damage I'm dealing. Oh, bugger. <laughs> I lost a full soul heart for that. Oh, God. Do you want to know what happened? I'll tell you the truth. So, I, I was stood where he spawned, which is the obvious part of the equation. The bit that you guys didn't see is that I was itching my face while he was spawning in, and so I didn't have enough time to actually react and move out the way, because I didn't expect him to spawn on me, even though I was standing in one of the only two places he could spawn. For some reason... Never even slightly occurred to me that that 50-50 chance of him spawning directly on top of me could have occurred while my hand was off the keyboard, but there you go. The stupidity of the turtle melon knows no bounds. I did almost just die there. This boss is so fucking annoying. Stop making bosses that are like this, games. Nobody enjoys these. <laughs> If you're a prospective game developer out there, learn. <laughs> learn from these lessons. 
If you make a boss that's really hard to hit and that's his only gimmick, that ain't fun. If you make a boss that goes underground all the time and that's his only gimmick, he ain't fun. If you make a big boss that has really strong boss armor and goes underground all the time, it's not fun. If I have the damage to kill something, I should be allowed to kill it. Right. Now, this really spices things up somewhat. Now... Now we have some really crazy shit going on, because we have the mulligan and parasitoid generating flies with the fishtail. This is pretty awesome. I, I don't really like you, so I'm just going to take care of you with strong herming. There you go. That did a mighty good job. Right, I'm really hoping the shop has a soul heart for me here, because otherwise things might not go great. I popped that just in time. That was genuinely so close. So, so close. Oh, ha, ha, you do as well. And honestly, okay, it's working now. It's working now. I'm still going to buy Loki's horns, though. Which I don't know why it's in the shop, but there you go. But even with our 0 0.06 look, Loki's horns is still kind of good. Because um, with uh, anti-grav, it can be pretty useful. And also with the strong herming effects, it's pretty useful. And also with parasitoids, pretty, there's, there's many reasons in our run here that we want it. That's all I need to say really, isn't it, at the end of the day. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't actually have to say anything. I could just say, hey, look, I'm taking it, fuckers, deal with it. But I'm not that sort of guy, so. Great. <laughs> I'm just taking so much damage. It's unreal. Big Grimace. Big Grimace. Oh, for fuck. Chaboy is terrible at Isaac today. I did take a day off of recording yesterday, so that might be why. Maybe I'm just a little bit rusty. I can't remember if this is good or not for me. It was a damage down. <laughs> Ooh, we got crucifix. Oh, I almost took Robo Baby Z. <laughs> okay, I did get a damage down there, but the prospects are that future damage ups I get should be stronger. So do not fret, do not worry. I think we are still at only one heart unless that crucifix gave me a heart container, but I am not going to assume that because that is very, very unsafe to assume. What we desperately need are tinted rocks. Get out of here, fucker. We do get the stat increase for, for killed enemies on the crucifix thing. That's nice. What was I meant to do there? Okay, there's, there's a good chance we die here. Do you know what? Enemies that jump on me, no thanks. I'm gonna need some health pretty, pretty soonish here. That was close. That was doubly close. Boy, the stress I feel right now is unprecedented. Unprecedented. This is definitely an invincibility sort of room. Right, use this. This does give us herming as well. Hope that this has hearts in it. They always have hearts in them. <gasps> A hug. You could be my hero, baby. You could take away my pain, and you did. Congratulations, little fella. You've done us a great service. We would have got a heart in the next room anyways, but we're not going to tell the little dude that. That would that would knock his confidence. We'll just pretend that he was our saviour, and that's all, that's all there is to it. Oh, what the fuck? He popped up underneath me. Dude. What? <laughs> 
So this little jabroni pops up directly underneath me and don't even, someone's gonna point out, actually, <laughs> no he didn't. He popped up close enough to me that it's bullshit regardless. And then the other dude does his little waggy tail that's also very telefraggy that he basically does one in a billion times. Never uses that move, but just today, a little bit of slap and tickle with that tentacle. Either way, this has been a crushing blow to our confidence and our Isaac skill. I hope you guys did enjoy. It was devastating, and I will see you guys in the next one.